Okay, what's up guys, Moxification here, um, today I'm showing you guys how to update to any dashboard, um, and, uh, the dashboard that we're, uh, trying to update to today is 16756 from 16747. So, um, you're gonna wanna get your, uh, NAND from your, um, Xbox 360 console. So I'm gonna show you how to do that now, uh, switching over to the JTAG. Okay guys, so we're now here on the JTAG and you're going to want to get your um, NAND from your Xbox. So you can do this two ways, uh, well using the same method you want to get Flash 360. Um, if you've got a USB, which I don't, you're going to want to plug your USB in, put Flash 360 on the USB and then open up Flash 360.xcx. Uh, and then uh, move that over to your PC but I'm gonna do it through neighborhood because I have neighborhood installed so I'm just gonna delete these two files you might have these here if you've done it before but if not then you won't so you're gonna open it and once you have opened it you're gonna uh, see this screen you're gonna click um, uh, backup current NAND to file which is X uh, save entire NAND A then it's gonna do its thing, it's gonna go up to 100% and then it's gonna tell you what to do after that uh, it's now done so it's gonna press any button and then that's done so now you're gonna press back and then it's gonna take you back to the um, main uh, dashboard menu thing um, and then I'm gonna show you what to do from your PC, but if if you've done it with a uh, USB, just unplug the USB and put it on your computer. Okay, see okay, you on the PC. So now we're on the PC. You have your files here, and I'm gonna open up Neighborhood, and you're gonna get your um uh your file out. So I'm just gonna show you where you wanna go for this. Uh, if you're on Neighborhood, you're gonna go to the Flash 360. And then you're gonna you're gonna have this file here called flash the mp dot bin, and you're gonna drag that to the desktop. What well where all your files are. So I've already got a copy here in the neighborhood just in case it goes wrong. But yeah, so here it is, flash the mp, and then from here you've got this. So you're gonna open up the folder for the exe build that you will uh, that I would have linked in the description. Um, and you're going to open up the XCBuild GUI 2.0. So, once it's opened, you are going to click open here, not a uh, file. You're going to click open, click on the flash DMP. Make sure you're on desktop and click open. And then it's going to do tick, 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 all the way along here. And then there's just one that's not. Now, you're going to need your CPU key here. You want to type in your CPU key, but I've already got one saved, so I type in Jasper, and then uh, JTAG CPU, then I copy this, and then I paste it here, and then I've, it, everything's ticked, and now you want to make sure that it says include dash launch, it basically include all of these, um, and then that's it, and then you're gonna, you don't want to change anything else apart from the CPU only the CPU nothing else um, and you want to click a generate hacked image and then after it's done it's going to give you two little things there you go so I'll just click a no and then that's it and then you can exit out or you can click yes or yeah so then it's going to give you this no not that sorry this file here upd flash uh, I'm just going to delete this quickly because I don't need it so upd flash um, UPD flash is the file that you will get after the flash DMP you want to put the flash DMP to one side you've got the UPD flash now you want to put the UPD flash um, back on the USB or in the uh, neighborhood of flash 360 uh, UPD flash in there and then it will take a few seconds there you go and now from here I'm gonna uh, meet you back onto the JTAG. Uh, so yeah, goodbye. Okay, so now you're back on the JTAG. You wanna put your USB in your JTAG, or if you've done it the way that I've shown you, 
um, you, uh, you know, you're just follow the steps that I do in a minute. But if you've got done it, the USB method, you're gonna go onto your USB, um, and then you're gonna move the Flash 360 from the USB back to the dashboard, uh, back to the uh, main hard drive. Then you're gonna open Flash 360. And then you're gonna go into flash360.xcx. Um, so yeah, this is where you're gonna go from here. Um, and then you're gonna click um, right update flash.bin to NAND. So that's A. And you're gonna do. I'm gonna uh, press B because you know I don't need the current KV config. Uh, so uh, B. Uh, but you do whatever you want to do. Uh, so yeah. Um, press button A to restart um no oh, yeah R press button A to retest yeah or start button to ignore and continue All right sorry about that yeah press start button um <coughs> and then uh, press A button to begin or any other button to return so press A button to begin and then it's now uh, doing the process of the 0 to 100% uh and it's done press any button to continue and then press back button to return and then back button to shut down uh, i'm gonna press shut down then it's gonna go five four three two one zero and then it's gonna turn off then it's gonna reboot or i'm gonna have to turn it back on uh, i'm gonna say now once the xbox turns off don't turn it back on straight away unplug the power brick uh from the power cord um for about about 15 30 seconds roughly um, and then plug it back in and turn it on and then you'll be updated to the new dashboard I'm gonna stop recording now uh, after I've clicked back and then um, You'll see me in uh, another well, it will be in a second, but yeah, all right uh, One minute Okay, so I've now just uh, booted it and it's turned on so now we're still on the JTAG um, and We go to console settings and then we're now on the latest dashboard um, and then also what I didn't show you was uh, what you were meant to do with the um, XBL uh, stealth plugin just literally remove uh, the old one and then put that one in turn it off turn it back on done uh, you're back on lane uh, as you can see um, I am back on lane I'm just gonna show you that uh, I don't know if my KV is banned or not if it is then that's fine you know I just uh, I've got many KVs I've got five KVs um uh, oh yep I'm still I'm still on lane so it just said XPLC oh wait uh, oh yeah this will be a dashboard update that you are meant to do this will be like an avatar update they always give you one um but yeah that just proved that I was still connected to live and sort of that type of thing so I'm just gonna do this a dashboard update um and I'll be back in a couple of seconds. All right, um, I'm I'm now online. Uh, I kind of forgot to record, um, but that's fine though. Basically, what happened was it got up to fully 100%. Then it uh, turned off. Um, it like it just shut off. I thought I'd broken it. I hadn't. Uh, I was getting a bit worried about it. Um, then it it fully rebooted itself. You know, it just turned straight back on. Um, and then um that was it really um it just it sort of turned on said uh the xplse thing the name or whatever platinum successful there or whatever it says um and then done um uh you know it said how many how much time i had left and stuff and my kv wasn't banned it's uh it's purely it's ready. It's it's just signing me now. I'm I'm now signed in to the Xbox Live on my JTAG as I will show you that I have uh, XCX menu installed. It's a little bit laggy and freezy. I think the KV might be about to get banned. Um, so yeah, um, I'm just gonna accept some friend requests quickly, um, and then we'll go from um there so now i can host more lobbies i'll probably blur out this game attack just because i don't want people to be adding me and i don't want to get banned so uh, if you want to contact me it'll be in the description it's i made a new little type of thing it's something like um uh, it's something like 
contact. I, I think it's called contact. Uh, contact, contact info. So yeah, um, that's about it. Uh, so yeah, g goodbye.